Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop, to the channel. Got a new torque wrench here that we're gonna do a quick little testing video on. This company, Vanpo, I guess would be the best way to pronounce it, reached out to me and asked me if I'd be interested in taking one of their torque wrenches and doing a video on it. All they did was send me the torque wrench for free. They did not pay me any extra money to make this video or anything. And it's just a testing video where we're gonna get results that I really can't try and fake or anything like that. So they did send me a little bit of literature with this to look through, but it seems I have since misplaced it. I'm not sure where it went, but they say it's a multifunctional uh, torque wrench. My assumption is that that means that you can use this uh, both in clockwise and counterclockwise and it should be accurate. We'll check it out. Uh, it seems like no torque wrench is quite as accurate in counterclockwise as they are clockwise, but uh, they say it should be plus or minus 3% of whatever you're torquing it to. Of course, it is a half inch torque wrench. My fat fingers in the way of that. You can see it better now half inch torque wrench and it goes from 10 to 150 foot pounds. Or if you're aware they use the metric system, you also have the metric settings here and it's put into the torque wrench. So as you can see, it comes in a pretty nice uh, blow molded case. Actually, I don't know how nice it is, but pretty standard for a lot of torque wrenches because you gotta be careful with these tools. Um, I did look at it a little bit yesterday when I pulled it out of the mail, but I've not tested it yet to see how accurate it is or anything. Uh, but we have a nice chrome torque wrench with a little bit of coloring here on the bottom end of the handle. Uh, it is a ratcheting torque wrench. And so you have forward and reverse. And uh, this head looks pretty familiar. I do believe this thing's made in Taiwan not in China. It doesn't say, but I'm uh, about 90% sure this is a Taiwanese torque wrench. If I'm wrong about the country of origin, then I will notate it in the video and you will have to look at the screen to know. They've got some nice branding. It looks like maybe laser etched here into the chrome. And then that is where your torque settings or how your torque settings are placed here on the tool is I believe by a laser etching. So you have foot pounds and then you also have your metric measurements. I do think that these might just be painted on. Nope, I think those are laser etched in there too. So this is an aluminum handle here. It's a nice red color, looks pretty good. They have uh, each of the torque settings. And it does look like they have some somewhat odd increments here. I'm not really exactly sure what that's all about. Anyway, they do have this uh, little locking collar here for positive stops. You'll notice it clicks in. If I'm halfway in between a setting, it clicks in right on the setting uh, pretty accurately here. So 0 0.07, well, we're on the foot pounds. So you'll notice 1.4, I'll pull down the locking collar and turn it to 0.7 and uh, it reached its setting point. So that's really nice. One of the problems with uh, the other torque wrench I've used is when you thread in the bottom here, sometimes it comes unloose. And you can set the torque inaccurately because the handle comes loose because the little knob down here comes loose. So I think that's really nice uh, that they have that locking collar where it uh, moves into the positive stops and will stay locked in there. Uh, that's gonna be good for me. That already makes it better um, at least assuming it's as accurate as the other torque wrench I have, it definitely is going to be better in that sense. So from the last video that I made uh, on a torque wrench doing the torque testing, how accurate it is, I was told that there's a ring on these handles and that's where they're expecting you to pull from. So we'll make sure to do that this time. And then as you can see, I also have some wedges in between the wall and the uh, workbench here to keep the workbench steady because that was a problem I had the last time I tested a torque wrench was the table moving and so I was getting inaccurate uh, measurements. We are going to be using the Quinn digital torque meter and I don't have a ton of money to go out and spend on some kind of fancy torque testing equipment and that is absolutely not what my channel is about. And so we just use what I have and try and get as close as we can with basic tools that I have laying around the shop already. Let's go ahead and set it down from 100 where I ended with the inaccurate test down to, let's just start at 55, we'll go 73 and then 101 instead of messing with the 25 foot pounds uh, because supposedly this torque adapter is only really accurate from 29 and a half to like 125 foot pounds or something like that. Uh, it's higher than we're gonna go. This does have some weird increments, but I think they're pretty close and you know, a lot of torque specs do not go evenly to the five or 10 marks. So we are at 52 foot pounds. This thing should read out 52 foot pounds. Let's make sure it's turned on. I'm gonna try and do this around the camera and keep everything as accurate as possible. Broke at 51.7. 48.4. 48.4. Forty-nine point six. 
51. So never really hit the uh, 52 mark. So it actually was a little bit off still. Let's just do one or two more pulls here. 50.8. 51.3. So we're getting pretty dang close, but we're consistently under it. All right, we're going to go ahead and run it up to the 73 because that'll get us pretty close to 75. It's close enough anyway. All right, we're exactly 73. I do have to say this locking collar on this handle is pretty dang nice. Okay, pulling clockwise. 69.2. 70.3. Seventy point three, sixty eight point six. So we are a little ways off. It looks like it actually is almost as inaccurate uh, clockwise as it is counterclockwise. So let's go ahead and just move it up to the hundred foot pound mark and see how close we get. The closest hundred foot pound even mark that they have on here is a hundred and one. So we are now set to a hundred and one. Ninety eight point seven. Whoops, we never went away from it. Let's give ourselves a little more room here. 96 point9, 95.7, 96.5, 98.2, 98.9. Uh, so I want to go ahead and try a different torque wrench now in the clockwise position. Keep in mind, this is an even cheaper wrench and I'll make sure, yep, we are at the 100 foot pounds position. So let's see how close we can get with this click type torque wrench. Pulling from the ring, trying to be as careful as I can to remove user error. 97.1, 97.2, 97.3, 97.4, 97.5, 98.7, 99.6, I think that said, 98.2, whoops, didn't reset it enough, 98.9. So this two-year-old torque wrench, I think two to three, it might even actually be about three years old at this point, is uh, still reading more accurate. This is a $10 torque wrench. It's reading more accurate than the Vanpo torque wrench, and I think that's Kind of sad because this thing's fresh out of the box. It is a much nicer torque wrench in a lot of different ways, but it's even less accurate as far as I can tell. Keep in mind, this one was set at 100 foot-pounds and the Vanpo was set at 101. So this was even closer. It was up there in the 98 uh, range. I was consistently getting 98 foot-pound torque pulls and uh, with the Vanpo, I was still closer to like 96, 97. So if we even assume that this thing was off by, let's say two foot pounds and these torque wrenches are uh, pretty dang close to on and the, the uh, Quinn digital torque meter here is reading 98s when it should be reading 100s, I still think, well, it's kind of almost in that plus or minus 3% range. The Vanpo torque wrench is a nice torque wrench, but it is a little slightly inaccurate. Maybe if I had a couple other samples and maybe even a couple other digital torque meters so we could get pretty dang close to really Really good averages. It might prove to be otherwise, but definitely not pulling super accurate it seems. This uh, $10 torque wrench here is pulling within one to two uh, foot pounds of its setting, where this one, the Vanpo, is pulling about four or five off, maybe even six, like four to six foot pounds off. I'm not going to say don't buy the Vanpo torque wrench. Um, nothing wrong with the Vanpo company, nothing against them. They did send this thing out to me, but basically the torque test doesn't lie. I wasn't going to just use it on the lug nuts on the truck a few times and say, it's a great torque wrench, buy it. You know, we needed to have something that's basically designed for accuracy, needs to have the accuracy tested. And I'm not much of a uh, data or scientific kind of type of reviewer. Uh, that's just not really my thing. I'm more of an experienced reviewer. But when it comes to something like a torque wrench, where the purpose of its existence is to get accurate torque measurements uh, when torquing down nuts or bolts, I think that there's just really no substitute for it. Um, I do not mind adding a little bit of opinion stuff like that. It is a very nice looking torque wrench. I really like the uh, color handle. I really like the locking collar with the positive stops. Uh, I think it's... 
a really nice torque wrench. It could just be a little bit more accurate. So uh, that doesn't mean that if you pick one of these Banpo torque wrenches up that yours is going to be right around the five foot pounds off of what you actually want. Just keep that in mind that this is just one sample and one digital torque meter. You might get one that's dead on and uh, is really like plus or minus 1% uh, accuracy. So who really knows? I didn't have exactly a perfect test result here and that's okay. I'm gonna stick with probably my $10 torque wrench here for most torque applications between, uh, well, basically 50 and 100 foot pounds. If all you're gonna use this Vanpo for is lug nuts, you're gonna be pretty dang close, I think. Uh, maybe you always just set it a little bit higher just to be sure, but thanks everyone for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Up. I'd really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video.